Hi students of class 9 CVSC, Beehive is in my hand and I am with chapter 2. What is chapter 2 students? The sound of music. The sound of music. It has two parts. Part 1 has Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. And part 2 is here the Sahnai of Bismillah Khan. These are the two chapters, two subdivisions inside this. Chapter 2, The Sound of Music. Today we shall take up Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. It is part 1. But this part 1, we will divide into two parts. Part A and part B. Otherwise it will be too long and it will tire your patience and concentration level. So we shall divide it into two parts. So that you, if you learn in a small chunk, you will learn better. Okay. So are you ready? I am here with part 1 and part A of part 1. Okay? First we will cover the first 5 paragraphs, thereafter the next 5 paragraphs, which will cover this part 1. Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. Now student, before I go any further, uh, we should conduct a pre-reading activity. And I would like to ask you some questions. Have you heard of people who by overcoming their obstacles and shortcomings, went on to become greats in different fields of human activities. Can you recall? The list is long. Helen Keller, she was deaf as well as blind, but she became the first blind graduate in America. Helen Keller. And there are thousand others. Even in India, there are so many examples. Here is one musician, Evelyn Glenny. She became deaf uh, by the age of around 10 and thereafter she could not hear anything but her dream was to become a great instrumental musician and which she became okay students now here I uh, we introduce the chapter to ourselves. God may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that's why she expresses music so beautifully. Look, what God has taken away from her? Her power of hearing. Her hearing is impaired. And she dreamed of becoming a musician. God has taken away her power of hearing. But she has developed something else. She hears through her body. Can you believe it? that she hears with her body and her hearing is so perfect that even people with the power of hearing can, can't match up her ability to fill the music through her body. This is what she did and it was a revolution in the field of music. But question is, how can anyone hear through her body? Here I give you example. On Diwali nights, people fire crackers and you feel the vibration. The pots and plates start jumping and dancing. Once India won a cricket match and celebrations were on. Some people were firing crackers in my street. And what happened? The pots and plates were dancing in my room. How could this happen? If inanimate, non-living things can feel the impact of sound, can't our living body? Yes. And this was... This was true with the case of Evelyn Glennin. When the power of hearing, when her ears stopped working, her body started working. And she started feeling the music through her body. And she went on to become one of the greatest instrumental musicians of all time. And at a very young age, she achieved what the people twice her age could not. This was Evelyn Glenn. So students, we have introduced ourselves to the lesson. So we are ready for the lesson. And I start with the first paragraph. Rush our crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform. A slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train. She was only 17 and she is waiting for her train in the underground railway of London. And she is today going to give performance. She is nervous, excited, but she is determined.
and she is feeling the vibration of the approaching train through her body she has developed this habit it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from scottish farm and she had come straight from the rural side country of scotland to the city of london a very busy place and where was she going to perform the royal academy of music in london what a place it was there you will find all the pandits and maestros of music and very knowledgeable audience and there she was going to perform this 17 year old girl it was this task was daunting daunting means causing fear but she was so confident so she felt equal to the challenge she was ready to take on the challenge and this was evelyn glen and she was going to give performance yes anybody would be nervous anybody would be excited and anxious she was but she overcame them but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf but before this she had already faced the bigger challenge which affected her entire life her becoming deaf her power of hearing was gone and when this shock came to her how she might have felt you can just imagine you can feel for her many of us are shattered many of us give up but this was evelyn glenny and because she overcame this one that's why we are reading her lesson we are reading about her this was evelyn glenny paragraph 2 evelyn glenny's loss of hearing had been gradual her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting to play the piano actually this did not happen all of a sudden this happened gradually she lost the power of hearing gradually over a period of time that's why in the beginning it could not be noticed but one day her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she did not move i suddenly realized she had not heard says isabel glenny her mother noticed this first actually some people called her to play piano but when they called her she did not respond she did not answer the call and her mother noticed this her mother isabel glenny noticed this and she realized that something was wrong with her power of hearing she felt it for the first time for quite a while evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers evelyn as you know she, she was a child then it was a huge embarrassment for her to be deaf at a young age so she concealed means hid this fact from others from friends and teachers she did not allow them to know this she hid this fact for some time but by the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a to a specialist but uh, in the space of 3 years her performance was affected her marks started declining deteriorating and then teachers felt that something was wrong with glenny then they called her parents and suggested to them to take her to a specialist because they felt that her performance was impacted by her declining power of hearing her hearing impairment it was it was teachers opinion and they were concerned about her performance so they called her parents to take her to a specialist it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf then uh, a specialist was consulted it was found out that she was severely impaired she was severely impaired so far her power of hearing was concerned then they were suggested that i mean her parents that her ears should be fitted with hearing aids and that she should be sent to the school for deaf school for deaf and this was 
you can't imagine it was a nightmare living nightmare for Evelyn Glennie and what she writes here she says everything suddenly looked black black she says that she saw blackness with darkness before her eyes her world became dark you can imagine child who wanted to become a great musician had become deaf and what a uh, shattering blow was this for her she was completely devastated and now but she was determined to fight this odd she was determined to overcome this obstacle she wanted to become a great musician but evelyn was not going to give up she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music one day she noticed a girl playing xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too but soon she overcame this shock she became determined that she would get over this problem and lead a normal life like a normal person she will not allow this impairment this deficiency to mar her way to to slow down her progress to hamper her progress to slow down her progress she was determined that she will overcome all the obstacles she will get over all the problems and lead a normal life one day she saw a girl playing xylophone and she thought that she wanted to play it and she expressed her desire she wanted to play it everybody discouraged her everybody told her no you can't you are deaf but there was one percussionist most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist ron forbes spotted her potential he began by tuning two large drums to different notes her teachers discouraged her they felt that she could not this is the way the society behaves because it is your will power not theirs they will tell you you can't but you will have to believe that you can the person who believes he can he will the person who believes she can she will and she was the classical case of this everybody all the teachers told her you can't but there was a musician a percussionist ron forbes he realized that the girl had some potential great potential he spotted her talent her potential and he felt that she could and then here it was a turning point in her life it was a defining moment in her life it changed everything for her and this was the silver lining in the darkest cloud yes this was the silver lining in the darkest cloud ron forbes was a ray of hope for her and a revolution was started in her life which changed her life on its head and what he suggested don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the west up and the lower drum from the west down ron forbes actually first of all i would like to tell you which musician is called percussionist have you heard of a percussionist or percussion actually percussionists are the people who produce music by hitting something by scraping something and there you must have seen some uh, pots are there some pitchers are there and then in this way music is produced song is produced some sound is produced it is instrumental music and he was a percussionist so he suggested her ki fill from your body your ears are not working no problem but your body is working so she should fill music through her body through the organs of her body if her ears were not working and there were two drums one was higher other was lower and they had two different notes students here i would like to take you uh, to tabla you must have seen people playing tabla and you'd say both the uh, drums are of different sizes one is broad wide other is narrow and they produce two different notes notes means different kinds of sounds and in the same way the two drums were there so he suggested to her that she should fill the music of higher drum through the upper part of her body i mean waist up and the sound music coming from the lower drum should be filled from the waist down 
and there it all started she started feeling i have told you that if non living things can vibrate can jump can dance through the impact under the impact of music we are only humans so this is started happening with her okay forbes repeated the exercise and soon evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body and she felt that different parts of her body different organs of her body felt different notes of the music her body had become a musical instrument it was not that this uh, it was not that she was playing her fingers on her body actually if any musical instrument was played near her her body parts received it very minutely very sensitively and she did better than the people who could hear this was her speciality and this she did i had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations and i tell you when we are faced with any problem what happens our mind closes because we are too self conscious we are too much bothered about what we don't have but confident people think what they have and from there they start she did not have ears but she did have body a sensitive body which could vibrate with the music of instruments and now it was working for her she felt it that way and rest was sheer determination sheer means pure complete determination complete will power that she was determined that she would reach the top come what may she was ready for every challenge she would not surrender before the mountains of obstacles she would overcome them all next paragraph she never looked back from that point onwards she toured you know the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life and there on as i told you it was a defining moment in her life a landmark uh, moment of her life and she charted a new course in her life she started moving in in new direction and then she did not look back she toured uh, united kingdom with a very young orchestra team and she performed well and by the age of 16 she had decided that music would be her life so she was wedded to music she had married music music was her heart and soul and she would do big in this field she was committed to do big in this field she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy academy i tell you that she was tested in the royal academy of music in london and her score was highest even the participants who could hear could not do as well as she did and it was the sheer outcome of her determination and will power she gradually moved from orchestral to solo performance well there was another change in her life and this decision she made that she will not perform in an orchestra she became a solo performer and she started doing even better than before and she captured most of the top awards of music she captured the top awards of music this started happening and her life was rocking success after success came and she was not looking back at a very young age now next paragraph and for all this evelyn would not accept any hint of heroic achievement if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there and she is very humble about her achievements she believes that anybody who works hard will get success actually she did not think that she had anything extra with her which helped her to become so successful it was sheer hard work it was sheer hard work with this that she reached there so she was very humble person and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule well and with this 
she mastered so many musical instruments she became a master of all these and her life became very busy she toured a lot she had a very busy schedule her life was busy and she was achieving one after the another goal this was part a of this uh, lesson student i will be starting part b any time from now on and uh, i'm sure you have understood everything very clearly okay write in the comment section if you have any queries to make subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and uh, everything will be all right and please uh, write in the comment section i receive few comments there i want more comments there so that i can adjust and attune my teaching as per your requirement subscribe to my channel keep smiling have a wonderful day